sleeping. Today is August, of, uh, August, September the 4th. Um, so we are going to finish our discussions of uh, finish of chapter two. And we arrive, um, uh, we talk about uh, chemistry of life. We talk about uh, what is an atom. We talk about how a molecular compound is made. We speak about uh, intramolecular interactions that exist between the atoms uh, and the bonding, ionic bonding or covalent bonding. We speak about the properties of the waters and also how molecules interact with another molecule. Then we speak about the macromolecules that they are uh, proteins, uh, lipids, carbohydrates, uh, nucleic acid. So we speak about the carbohydrate and the, how we call a simple sugar monosaccharide. And then when two sugar came together uh, to form a, a, a big molecule of uh, sugar, we call it disaccharide. And then we speak about um, uh, carbohydrate, uh, I mean polysaccharide. Uh, or, uh, they are a monomer which is made of a repetitive unit of monomer. Uh, when they have three to 100 monosaccharide, we call that oligosaccharide. And when they are more than 100, we call it polysaccharide. Uh, we call it oligosaccharide or short polymer or short uh, polysaccharide. So then today we are going to speak to another, about another macromolecule, which is, that is also made of a repetitive. Can you stop your mic, please? Um, uh, which is um, the protein, and it's a repetitive unit of what? Of amino acid, and amino acid with another amino acid with another amino acid with another amino acid, same of a form a polymer that we call a right? or a protein. Protein example: hair, feathers, spider webs. Um, it's essential for the activity of the life. The, the, the function can be a source of, uh, uh, it, it could be in an enzyme, it could be an antibody. It, it can also play a role as a transporter, like transporter access to transporter, transport of oxygen within our body. And uh, they have 20 amino acids. And those amino acids, this is how we group them over here. We have uh, I, I'm not asking you to retain those amino acids, but now that they have 20 amino acids, they can be hydrophobic amino acid. And this is depend on their R. Uh, let me show you what is the R, which is the functional group. The I is the functional group. Is the one that I am uh, putting here on blue. They all share, have a common uh, functions. The R are made of uh, NH2 and uh, carboxyl group COOH, right? They are all made of amino group and carboxyl group. And they have an hydrogen, but they differ on this R. It could be a simple H, let's say glycine. It could be um, sulfur uh, SH2, like cysteine. It could be also big rings molecule. So they differ on this R group. All right. So if this R group and their property, therefore, therefore, depend on this R group. So when it's um, hydrophobic, all the entire amino acid is hydrophobic amino acid. All right. It could be also alcohol. This OH, O OH in the end. This is alcoholic. It could be also acid. When you have this carboxyl group in the end, COOH. When they have an amino group in the end, this is a basic form, okay? How those amino acid as a monomer are going to be um, bonding to another amino acid to form uh, a polymer, right? This is, you remember how polymer is formed by a condensation reactions or dehydration reactions. So I have one um, amino acid, will uh, give me the OH and one amino uh, from the, the hydroxyl group of it. And the amino group of the other amino acid will give me the H. And therefore, if you can see it, I can make, release my
release molecule of water by dehydration or a reaction uh, or condensation reactions. And therefore, between N and C, I made what we call peptide bonding. So this is this is with this amino acid with this amino acid. On the next amino acid, the same thing. The carboxyl, uh, the hydroxyl group of the carboxyl group the, the, will give me the OH, and the, uh, the hydrogen group of the amino group will give me the H release an uh, H2O, form a peptide bonding, et cetera, et cetera, until I have a big chain of amino acid bonding together, forming what we call the polypeptide. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> or um, or, a, or a protein, right? So this, um, the shape of protein can be either straight, right? That's a primary structure. Secondary, secondary, it's uh, when it's a fold, a coiled, it's called either alpha or beta sheets ls. It's involved in hydrogen bonding. What's that mean? That means um, this amino acid over here, this amino acid over here, that E will bond, it's, it's a chain, right? It's a primary, but suddenly this will be fold on itself. So this amino acid will interact with another amino acid that is not even close to it by hydrogen bonding. And this is interacting with another amino acid that is not even close, it's not even interacting with this one or this one, is interacting with another one that is. So therefore they will create an alpha sheet or create um, a, a beta sheet, with, it is a pleated uh, sheet. What's going to happen is this line of amino acid will interact with another line of amino acid at the point like it's a folding, but this amino acid will interact with another amino acid and they create like a pleated sheet, which is the beta. Beta. So um, uh, this is like this one will interact with this one like a hydrogen bonding. And then this one will fold on itself and make it like two parallel lines and interacting with each, each line will interact with the, the front line, the one that is parallel to it, by hydrogen bonding, creating uh, uh, pleated uh, sheets. What is tertiary sheets, uh, tertiary form? Uh, it's a three-dimensional globular or fibrose. This include a bridge. This will include the bridge. You remember that the sulfur exists on the proteins. So they will create a bridge. Not only the hydrogen bonding exists um, uh, on it, but also another bonding exists, which is um, a sulfur bridge. They will create like a bridge whenever is S, they will bond the, the S with the S, they will bond with each other, making it more complex of form. This is tertiary, and even making it even more complex, which is the quart quaternary uh, form, which is the clustering of uh, all those shapes, the, for the alpha, the beta, uh, the, the, the pleated sheet, I always call it a beta sheet, uh, the pleated sheet and the tertiary all clustered together, forming a quaternary, like hemoglobinin. The hemoglobinin is a four subunit, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2, clustered together. So this is for um, the protein. So we are going to go uh, to another um, uh, macromolecule, which is the nucleic acid. There are two types of nucleic acid. We have um, We have um, deoxyribonucleic acid and the ribonucleic acid. The only difference between them is the sugar. They are all made of, this is the monomer that make uh, nucleic acid. Uh, we have a phosphate group, we have a sugar, and we have an amino uh, nitrogen is base, sorry. Nitrogen is base. They have four nitrogen is base, adenine, nitrogen uh, A, uh, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Those exist on the DNA. 
this is a DNA. For the RNA, we have also adenine, guanine, cytosine, but we don't have a timing. We have uracil, all right? So they differ only by the nitrogenous base, but this is the monomer. This is the nucleic acid. That's the nucleic acid that will bond with each other to make in, in the, the polymer. That's a nucleotide. That's the monomer for nucleic acid. This is the nucleotide, okay? The nucleotide for DNA is not the same as the nucleotide for RNA. They differ by the sugar and also the nitrogen space. Time it doesn't exist in the RNA. Your cell doesn't exist in the DNA, it exists only in the RNA. And the sugar, this is a DOC ribose um, sugar. And for the RNA, they have an oxy group OH over here. That's the ribose, that's the deoxyribose. That's the deoxyribose. That's the biggest difference between RNA and DNA. And they bend uh, together. And the pairing, you have to understand, you know that, that the adenine bounded to thymine and guanine bound to cytosine. And for the RNA, we don't have uh, thymine, we have uracil, adenine bound to the uracil, that's the pairing base, and guanine bound to cytosine. the bond those nucleotide with another nucleotide it's this phosphate group that is going to bond with the, a carbon that exists in the sugar for the next nucleotide and the bond in here we call it phosphodiesterase bonding to form the nucleic acid dna or rna This is a DNA over here. How I know it? Because it's double helis, helical, and they have timing over here. And you can see that timing is bonding to the adenine. That's the pair buzz. And how this adenine bonds to the cytosine, and how this cytosine binds to another cytosine, and how this cytosine bonds to this A is by this phosphodiesterase linkage that I told you. One phosphate group or one nucleotide will bond to the sugar of the next nucleotide. Okay, if I am at 14 or 6, which is the major um, biology, uh, it's the same chapter, but it will be more details. And actually, I really, really suggest that you go to my <clears throat> lectures on YouTube where I talk about 14 or 6, but it will help you to understand your 14 or 8, even if it's more details. So you will go over the details and you get only what if I talk about how, <clears throat> if you want to know more. Lipid, among all those macromolecules that we talk about, right, is not a polymer. We don't have a monomer that make a lipid. When I said, for example, triglyceride, triglyceride, where is the monomer? It's a fatty acid with the a glycerol. So where is the monomer? I don't have this building block. When I said cholesterol, cholesterol is a ring complicated, uh, uh, cholesterol molecules. I don't have this building block. When I said estrogen, which is a six year hormones, I have a, a ring of complex molecule. I don't have the building block. So lipid is also a macromolecule, but it's not a polymer because it doesn't have a monomer. Okay? So triglyceride is made of three fatty acid and one gl uh, glycerol. And here I give you one fatty acid. Look at it. That's a fatty acid, right? The difference between this fatty acid and this fatty acid, this one is saturated, this one and unsaturated. Look at it very deeply. Tell me what you see as difference is the presence of 